Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds with 3GameMan.com and this next Q&A video is about operating system issues. Maybe you turn your computer on this morning and all of a sudden, oh my gosh, you're getting this operating system not found message. What is going on? Well, there's a number of reasons for this. But the main one is there's something going on with your primary boot drive, you know, your C drive. That drive that you have your operating system installed on, it really doesn't matter what operating system it is, something is going on with it. But why? Well, if you bought a used computer system, it could be that the boot drive is completely missing and not in the system at all. Check for that. As well, the drive could be loose. Now, this could be the scenario in a desktop PC or a laptop, but check it out and make sure that the data and power connections are secure. You might want to take them all the way out, disconnect it, and put them all the way in. If you have a laptop, take the drive, kind of slide it out, and then slide it back in. Make sure it's into position. It's nice and snug so the data and power connections are making contact. As well, it could be, of course, a defective drive. Maybe the drive is at the end of its life, or maybe the laptop or desktop computer system was dropped and, you know, the drive has gotten corrupt. If that's the case, I mean, if it's a hard drop or something like that happened to it, there's a possibility that you could boot um, using other means, using a you know CD or DVD or a boot USB uh, drive to go into DOS and then do a, you know, um, a check disk to make sure that the drive is um, okay and maybe can fix the you know errors there and you can then hopefully at least get into your operating system so you can continue your work or continue backing up your data as well it could be a BIOS configuration issue maybe you changed something or added some drives or did something in the BIOS and you didn't realize it really and you know so go back and maybe do a default uh, BIOS reset and that could possibly fix it or change it back to the settings as you remember them working before and if maybe you saved a copy before of your BIOS um, you know setup that you had you can restore that and you maybe might be able to get it back as well update your BIOS that's something a lot of people forget to do. Make sure you update your BIOS. And if you don't really know how to do that, usually if you can get into the operating system, that is, you can do it, you know, using software from the motherboard's manufacturer's site, and you can go there and it's just basically download the, the program and install it, and it will just check and then update your BIOS pretty easily. So make sure you, you do that. And sometimes you'll get this message, operating system not found, only every now and then it will happen like and then you can get in you know maybe you might have to restart it twice or whatever and then it'll boot in so it could be something going on with the the bios and an update might just right away go ahead and fix it the other option is to repair the operating system now of course repairing the operating system is really going to depend and the procedures for it will depend on what operating system you are using but you know you could of course use your cd or dvd or your thumb drive to boot boot thumb drive to repair your operating system that way but try first of all try to figure out whether there's something really going on with the drive you know whether it's missing it's loose or defective or something along those lines well I hope this video has helped you remember if you do like all my videos like them <laughs> also subscribe to the channel and you can visit me on my site 3dgameman.com